Aquarius, welcome back. I hope you guys had a great weekend. Thank you so much for your likes, your subscribes, and shares, Aquarius. So let's get into your daily vibration. Again, I apologize. I wasn't feeling well, so I haven't been posting for the last couple of days. But let's welcome October, why don't we? Okay? Happy October to all, and I wish you all a great week. So let's get right into your energy. For the daily vibration for Monday, October 3rd. Oh, okay. So I guess I'm supposed to stop there. Let's see. Let's just see Holy Spirit, please. We have the magician again. Okay. So the magician is coming out. It talks about being very resourceful and making great change happen. So you may be getting a whole lot of different ideas, Aquarius, with the Ace of Swords. Wow, and the Ace of Pentacles and the Father of Pentacles here. And then the bottom of the deck, the Sun. So there's um, a lot of epiphanies coming towards you is what I feel. Okay, once again, you may be having a whole lot of different ideals or a whole lot of different things are coming to you. I feel like you're going to clean out, okay? So you may clean out when it comes to money, like you may hit a big win or get a big windfall. But for others of you, with this magician being the first card out here, I'm feeling the energy here where you may be cleaning out your home, okay? You may be having, I don't know, a day where you are, in some portion of your day, you are, you know, removing things, okay? Making big changes, like you're getting these ideas and you're making big changes here. But we know that the, man the magician is about manifestation, so there's this energy here. I'm getting, be careful of your words. Okay, stand in truth and authenticity. Uh, be careful of your words. Just be a straight shooter. Say what you mean. Mean what you say. Okay, with the Ace of Pentacles, I feel there's a huge ideal here in regards to your money, in regards to expenses. Okay, you may even be writing out a new um, expense list for the month. Okay, you may be organizing your books or you may be looking for documentation. Okay, which keeps coming up. All right. Um, but with the father of pentacles here also, I do feel like this is the person who actually helps others. Um, a pivotal person in the community, a person who is free giving, a person who thinks of the ideal and spreads energy. Because I feel this energy here where you're thinking of an idea, thinking of a master plan. Yeah. Some of you may be thinking of a master plan. You may be finding simple solutions to everyday um issues or you know you may be troubleshooting but i feel like it's going to be really easy for you to find simple solutions to whatever comes up on monday um with the mother of cups up underneath that i feel like it's super important for you to pay attention to your intuition your spirit guides are going to be leading the way okay to these simple ideas there's also this energy here of a health check okay so you may be i don't know getting some type of test results regarding health or an actual test or exam that you have taken all right or you may be signing up for one you may also be signing up for a class or something like that okay but i feel like it's a very successful monday i really do i don't know why i was about to pull out love cards so i don't do i don't believe in too many coincidences i feel like everything happens for a reason so let me get this out for you aquarius yeah oh my the card that came out right away is true love Okay, so some of you, you may be talking to somebody new, you may be literally meeting somebody, or there is an opportunity sometime in the day to meet someone new, because it's like Aquarius energy along with Earth. So you may be having an emotional, physical, or um, romantic encounter. Oh, I just saw the energy here where um, if you are standing in the energy of the magician, you may not even notice this person. They may literally have to grab your attention because your focus is on your practical things in life, the things that you must do, your to-do list. But there's an opportunity for true love here. Okay, Aquarius is what I'm getting. Hmm. I kind of want to put this over. Oh, see, <laughs> a little resistant. I want to kind of put it over here. 
okay, on the other side of this magician. You may be exuding this love. Whoever this is, you're talking about different ideas. You may be exchanging numbers if it's somebody new or, you know, love comes in all shapes, forms, and fashions. It could be a child. It could be a father. It could be an uncle, a mother, a sister, a brother. It could be a bestie, okay? But for some of you, and a lot of you is what I want to say, this is the opportunity to meet someone new. It says this love is emotional, it's physical, and it's unconditional. All right, now let's go ahead and bring out um, the cards I wanted to bring out at first. You know what? Spirit is diverting my energy again, okay? Switching it up. So let's see, let's just get one of these soulmate cards for the true love. Let's see, what is attached to this true love, Holy Spirit? So we can, although this is a very general reading, I want to get a little bit more specific on this true love here. Let's see. For Aquarius, well, we see commitment here. Okay, and then we see faith. Wow. Let's just see. Oh, okay. Oh. Okay. So... Where you didn't think there was a breakthrough when it comes to love, I kind of feel that you guys haven't even been, um, like I said, <laughs> where I put it the first time, this magician isn't even paying attention, okay? It's like, nope, I don't have no time for love. Nope, I don't. All right, I've been scoring in love before. I'm not even thinking about that. Michelle, what are you talking about? Okay? But Spirit is saying, there is a commitment on the horizon. There is a breakthrough. You can see the flower, um, coming through the cement, which is really, really, really hard. So someone's heart might be kind of closed, okay? But yet Spirit God Source is creating an opportunity for true love, believe it or not, all right? There's a commitment here, okay? With the commitment card and then this hopeful energy, okay? So the person you may be running into could be a hopeless romantic, okay? They are hoping that you will give them the time of the day. That's also what I'm giving here, what I'm getting here. And it says in love. So yeah. So we have some specifics regarding this breakthrough, regarding love. Okay. Someone is going to be able to pierce through to your heart. Okay. Believe it or not. Um, we do have free will though. So let's see. Yeah. This is happening out of the blue with the tower energy. And the ace of swords out of the blue someone's going to talk to you they're going to message you they're going to dm you they're going to have a conversation with you okay um messages can come in any shape form or fashion right so yeah out of the blue it's an out of the blue occurrence yeah look at this with the commitment card here there's something in regards to business and in love Okay, but when we move over to business with this Ace of Pentacles, um, there's the possibility that you may have a documentation to sign. Okay, you may be being committed to something. So there may be some type of out of the blue phone call or I don't know, something here. Yeah, where you may have felt um, uneasy or where you may have felt that you needed to make a decision. I feel like somebody is going to help you with this decision. Okay, because now there's three pentacles here. And I feel like there's talks about a financial commitment where you're going to um, get maybe a leg up. Okay, or some type of mentorship, some type of help. Okay. There could be, yeah, something going on like that. Let's see. Yeah, with the chariot, it turns this into a better situation. Okay, so something is going to be balanced out. Spirit God Source is going to move you past whatever this is that's coming up out of the blue. Yeah, something that you've been worried about when it comes to money. You may, like I said, you may have been thinking of all these different kinds of ideas. You may have spoke to a whole lot of different people. Okay, but on Monday, you may be motivated to move past the fear and the anxiety and actually face it head on, okay, and, and doing that, wherever your focus goes, your energy grows, right? You're going to get a grand idea. It's going to be very helpful. You may even talk to someone who um, gives you this 
ideal. For others of you, you're taking um, action when it comes to your business, or you may be going to a new job that pays a whole lot of money, but there's something here. You want to make sure you don't forget anything when you go out, okay? You want to make sure you have your ID. You want to make sure, you know, you have everything that you need, okay? So you don't have to stress anything later on. There's also this energy here where you may feel like you have a lot of things to do. Just make your to-do list and check them off one by one. Sit and give yourself time early in the morning. Just sit. Just be still. And um, what you need to do will come to you, okay? I don't know what this fear and anxiety is about. Some of you, you may just need to get sleep. You may have insomnia or something like that, okay? You may be up thinking about this financial contract, too. This financial thing that you've been going back and forth in your head with. Spirit is saying, um, be still and, you know, let the information come to you. You may get an unexpected phone call, so make sure you pay attention to your messages. Too many cards, so let's do that again. Here we go. Today is a really good day. Mm -hmm. You're in the flow. Problems are solved quickly and easily. Helpful people show up for you and unexpected gifts fall into your lap. Well, that's what I just said. Okay, not sure if you can take a screenshot of that to remind yourself of this tomorrow when you begin to worry. Okay, there's success here. Success. So there's no need to worry. No need to fear. Monday is a good day. <laughs>